Welcome to Success Talks with Rodney Salisbury. I hope you will support my sponsors who bring you this podcast absolutely free and with limited interruptions. I really appreciate you taking the time to listen. I'll get started in just a second. The reviews are in. The latest book from voiceover superstar and coach Rodney Salisbury is another runaway hit. Readers from all over the world are raving about his newest title, Tongue Twisters and Vocal Warm-Ups. You can find this and his other titles at the top of the voiceover bestsellers list on Amazon.com. How to speed up your voiceover learning process. Wouldn't it really be nice if you could speed up the process? Speed up the process as to how fast you learn. How fast you learn how to do voiceovers. How to be successful in voiceover. Speed it up to the point that it increases your audition to booking ratio. Turn a career that at this point is stagnant and maybe not getting better at a pace that you had hoped for when you decided to pursue a career in voiceover. You can change your destiny, yes you can, by improving your skill set and practicing more efficiently and effectively with a goal of improvement. And this improvement will be displaying itself on a daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly basis. Reading a lot of copy is a surefire way to get better at reading copy. I said it before in my first book, you can bank on your voice. From this repetition of reading a lot of copy, uh, you get better and you learn faster. Also, if you have some good coaching from a reputable voiceover coach, you can jump leaps and bounds. But if you really want to fly, if you really want to soar straight to a position of being a working voiceover actor and making a good living in this business, you need to consider some of the tips and techniques that I am about to talk about. In this lesson, I am going to tell you about new creative ways to practice and warm up. And we'll be back after this message. Has anyone ever said to you that you have a nice voice and you should get into voiceovers? Well, this is your chance to find out how to do that online in Rodney Salisbury's voiceover online seminar for beginners only. You can find out what it takes to be a voiceover artist. And here's the beauty of this online seminar. You don't have to be there. When you register, you will automatically get a copy of the seminar. Go to my website at RodneySalisbury.com and sign up today. I want to take you from being a beginner to sounding like a seasoned professional. And I want to take you seasoned professionals out there already to a higher level. All it takes is the right practice sessions and techniques to give you these amazing results that I'm about to discuss right now. I have a sincere desire to help you grow, to help you reach your full potential. From now on, you won't just be spinning your wheels, reading tons of scripts, and auditioning with mediocre results. Practice the way I am telling you to practice and watch everything change for you in terms of your confidence and your approach to each script. And we'll be back after this message. Hello everyone, this is Sean Daly for DailyVO.com. I want to tell you about one resource I highly recommend for vocal warm-ups because it takes out all of the guesswork and it was purpose-built with voiceover in mind. It's called Rodney Salisbury's Tongue Twisters and Vocal Warm-Ups with Other Vocal Care Tips. How's that for a title? So in case you don't know, Rodney Salisbury is a top-tier talent and coach, motivational speaker, and author of several books on voice acting, including You Can Bank on Your Voice and Step Up to the Mic. The book is available in print and on Kindle, and you can find it at Amazon or Rodney's personal website, rodneysalisbury.com, in the store section. One of the things that I did a whole lot of when I first started out is I was very consistent with recording myself and then listening back. Recording myself and listening back. When you do this over and over again, you get to know yourself and your eventual signature voice. The signature voice is that voice that is uh, specifically and uniquely you. It's the voice that you make most of your money on. It's your, it's that that voice that is truly your signature, the one that you use most of the time. Um, you may be doing a promo and there's still a form of your signature voice in that, a commercial, narration, 
Um, I think the only thing that may completely leave a signature voice is the different animated voices that you may do, okay? But you find your signature voice. Once you know your signature voice, you can incorporate your sound, your style, and your vocal brand to everything that you read that isn't asking you for a specific style or vocal interpretation. In other words, if the specs or the VO direction is asking you for something totally different than your signature voice, then of course you have to do that. But everything is still sort of based on the root and the root is your signature voice and everything that you do sort of comes out of that. And it can be unrecognizable uh, when it's a character, but for the most part, when it's not that, we hear you, we hear your brand, we hear your signature voice, okay? So um, this whole thing, I mean, you have to remember that it's not an overnight uh, proposition. These things take time. The process takes time. It could be years before you truly know who you are vocally, but the practice of recording yourself and listening back will certainly speed up the process, which takes us back to the main theme of this whole thing, how to speed up your voiceover learning process. How do I learn quicker? How do I master uh, the techniques that will make me successful? How do I speed up the process? Another technique that will speed up your learning process is the repeat back system, quote unquote, the repeat back system. Now, this exercise requires you gathering up some of your favorite commercials. You record them. You record some of your favorite uh, by actors who are similar to you or speaking the way you would like to speak. Okay, they sound similar to you. They tend to interpret things like you do. Uh, it's one of your favorite commercials. And, and what you do is you play this commercial and then you repeat after them. You repeat after the actor that you're hearing, you repeat the line, each line, the exact same way that they did it. Okay, you do that a couple of times. Now you record yourself so we can hear the commercial that you're mimicking, that you're repeating after. Now record yourself and the commercial at the same time. Record yourself repeating these lines verbatim, exactly the way that you hear it. Now do another recording of only you, reading the commercial the exact same way that the other actor read it, uh, the way you repeated it, okay, the way you mimicked what you heard, used their cadence, used their interpretation. You record that on your own now without any repeating or the other actor's voice. You just do exactly what you were doing on the take before. This exercise introduces you to new styles and techniques that you can now borrow, you can borrow from them, and you can incorporate them into your own sound. As you develop your brand and your signature voice and your own sound, you're taking things that you are borrowing from people that you admire, people that are on successful campaigns, okay? And this starts you to reading like a pro faster, to reading like a pro faster because you have been working by way of the repeat back system, the repeat back system, okay? The theory behind this technique is similar to a younger basketball player playing with older players who are better than him, more experienced than him. Remember when you were growing up in the neighborhood and you would want to play with the older guys? Uh, yes, they were older and they were bigger and they were stronger, but you learned more from them. It made you better, okay, because you had been playing with people um, in a uh, higher level than you, okay? So the experience uh, makes you better. Playing with older players makes you better. And when you mimic the pros in voiceover, you are in a sense working with them and the experience in theory makes you better. So those are just a couple of techniques that I wanted to let you know about to help you speed up that process, speed up your learning curve, speed up your voiceover learning curve, 
and become the best voiceover artist that you can be. I encourage you to continue to practice and to employ these techniques in your everyday practice sessions, and I assure you that you will be a better voiceover artist in a very short time. Remember, hard work breeds success. Hard workers always come out on top. You can listen to any of Rodney's podcasts at any time. Go to RodneySalisbury.com. I hope you enjoyed this podcast, and I urge you to listen to future podcasts where I will continue to try and make you better than before. My goal is to point you in a positive direction to success right here on Success Talks with me, Rodney Salisbury. Rodney Salisbury.